Hello everyone, in this video we're going to look at the new media player app for Windows 11. This is a new app that replaces the group music app and it is a basic player with support for audio and video playback. The app is available for all devices enrolled in the dev channel, but Microsoft is not yet saying when it will be available for everyone in the stable channel. Okay, so here's a first look at the media player app for Windows 11. So this is the new app. It's pretty basic. It follows the design trends of Windows 11 with render corners and semi-transparent materials. It does not integrate with any music services because it is an app to play content locally available on your computer. So when you first open the app, you will be directed to the home screen, which shows all your recent files. If you want to open a new media files, you can use this option right here. And then you will search the location for the file and then you will just click the open button there is also a drop down menu that allows you to open an entire folder and there is even an option to open a network stream if you know the address which it can come pretty handy sometimes then there is the music library section and here that's where all your songs will be displayed you have a shuffle and play button to play things randomly and you can sort your files and there is even an option to sort by genre. Also, there is the albums tab that shows all the albums that you have stored on the media player and the artist. Also, if you want to add a new folder location that contains audio files, you can click the add folder button right here at the top corner and then you will just search for that location and you would just click the add this folder to music button to add it to the library. Also, as you played a new song, the information is going to appear in the bottom left corner, which you can click to view different images for that particular album and the album art. Like pretty much all the other media players, you can go previews, next, and you can, and you can forward 30 seconds and go back 10 seconds. You can turn on shuffle and you can use the repeat option. You can also use this in full screen mode and you can use the mini player. Then there is this menu right here that gives you more options, including the properties for that particular file. You have access to the equalizer with different options that you can set or you can manually change the levels you can also cast the content to another device if supported and there is also a zoom to fill but that's for video then there is the uh, video library that gives you access to your video files if you want to add another location with videos you will click the add folder button and then you sh will just select the location and click the add button this is how the media player looks like when playing a video and you have all the same controls as with playing music you also have the mini video support you can you you can also use subtitles if if available and you also get speed options, the zoom to fill, equalizer, which is the same as available for music, and properties about that file. From wherever you are in the application, you can right click on it and you can add it to, to the queue. The same for songs. You can also edit the information and if you add it to the queue it will appear right here where you can clear the queue or you can save this as a playlist if you want to add more files to the queue you can click this button right here and you can use the drop down menu to queue a folder or even a url from a media stream then the last section is the playlist and that's where you will find all your playlists if you don't have any you can click the create a new playlist button 
and then you just type a name for the playlist and you just create it one and then you can add it to the queue you can rename it select it and let's say if you wanted to add this particular song to the playlist we just right click on it and select the add to option and select the playlist that you want to add it to and then the song is going to appear on the playlist that you created finally there is the settings page that allows you to add and remove folder locations and there is even an option to change the theme color for the app so the this app supports the dark and light mode so let's just switch it to the dark mode so you you can see how it looks like and there is also the light mode which we'll be using and you can set it to use the system settings so it will adapt to the color mode available on Windows 11. And that's pretty much it. That was a first look at the Media Player app preview for Windows 11. If you want to test this new application, you will need to have a computer role in the channel and then if you don't have it you just open the microsoft store app and then go to library and make sure to check for updates and that will download the application something interesting about the app is that because it's still in beta when you open the start menu and you type the media player the windows media player classic will appear and not the actual media player so in order to find it you need to type the group music keyword to open the application but I'm pretty sure that that's going to change in the future when the app actually releases to the stable channel and the Windows Media Player Classic will continue to be available on Windows 11 if you're still using that application and that's it remember to like the video leave your comments subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet and I just hope this video was informative for you and I would like to thank you for viewing